Stack Graphics is widely used by organizations involved in Six Sigma. Six Sigma is an approach to quality and quality assurance that designs quality into products and services. It's felt, and rightly so, that if one designs quality into the goods and services you're providing, that you won't have to fix so many mistakes later on. Now, an important metric in Six Sigma is something called DPMO. That stands for Defects Per Million Opportunities. And basically, this is a measure of how many mistakes one makes out of every million opportunities that you have to make a mistake. Now, the Six Sigma developers initially defined world-class quality as a DPMO of no more than 3.4, no more than 3.4 defects per million opportunities. You can classify a company or a process according to the level of quality that it produces by defining something called SQL, the Sigma Quality Level. As I said, if you're a Six Sigma organization or operating at a Six Sigma level, you're producing at 3.4 defects per million. On the other hand, if you're operating at five sigma, that corresponds to a DPMO of 233. The four sigma level is 6,209. The three sigma level is 66,810. And it actually gets worse from there on down. Now, our goal, of course, as an organization would be to operate at as high in SQL, as high a Sigma quality level as we can. As you can guess from the term Six Sigma, there's a statistical basis here for assessing product or process quality. Six Sigma refers to the distance from the process mean, the long-term process mean, to the nearer specification limit. If a company has world-class quality, it's producing over the long run at a mean that's no closer than six standard deviations to either of its specification limits. Now DPMO, SQL, these are important terms but they're not the only metrics that have been used to measure quality historically. Other metrics that have been used are things like the yield, that's the percent of good product, or CPK, that's a capability index that measures how well one conforms to a set of specification limits. And then there's the z-score. That's a direct measure of the number of standard deviations from the process mean to the nearest specification limit. In order to convert amongst all these quality metrics, we've designed into Stack Graphics something called the Six Sigma Calculator. You access the calculator by selecting tools from the main menu, and then selecting Six Sigma Calculator. This will bring up a dialog box, and on this dialog box you can specify the value of any one of these different quality metrics, and the program will calculate the value of all the others. For example, I'm going to select the radio button labeled Sigma Level, and ask the program to figure out what the value of all the other metrics is, when the sigma quality level, the SQL, equals 6. Now, there's one other little field down underneath the sigma level radio button called the sigma shift, and it's currently set to 1.5. The original developers of the Six Sigma methodology looked at many, many processes, and they noticed that over the long term, most processes were not strictly in a state of statistical control. Now statistical control would mean that the mean of the process and the standard deviation of the process remain constant, never changed. Well in fact they determined that in many processes over the long run the mean shifted above and below its long-term level by as much as one and a half standard deviations. So typically when you're calculating these indices, these quality indices, you'll allow for the possibility of up to a 1.5 sigma shift 
in the mean over the long term. Now, depending upon whether your process has specification limits which are two-sided or just one-sided, you'll get slightly different values of these indices. I'll take the most common case which is two-sided and just press OK. An analysis window has now been opened with a table on the left-hand side and a graph on the right-hand side. The table on the left shows you the equivalent values of these different quality metrics. If the SQL, the sigma quality level, is 6, you can see that corresponds to a z-score of 4.5, a DPM of 3.4, a yield of 99.9997, and a CPK of 1.5. Basically, these sigma quality levels are all implying world-class quality. To visualize what's going on here, you can double-click on the graph and look at something we call the yield plot. What we've done here is we've sketched a normal distribution that would be appropriate for whatever variable you might be measuring. Pull strength, diameter, whatever measures the quality of your product. We've also drawn lines that correspond to a situation where the SQL equals 6. The three vertical lines here are the lower specification limit, the nominal or target value, and the upper specification limit. You can see with an SQL of 6 that the entire normal distribution, all but that very small little 3.4 per million, is within the specification limits. To see what would happen if you were operating at 3 sigma, for example, I'll go up to the analysis toolbar and press the input dialog button. I'll change the sigma level to 3 instead of 6 and press OK. Now you'll see that a substantial part of the upper tail of that normal distribution is outside the specification limits. And that's what corresponds to a DPM actually of 66,810. Well the goal of achieving six sigma quality is to operate such that our process gives a graph that looks like the first one we saw, not this one.